Well, 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 look what we got here. I actually don't know what's in these boxes, but we're going to find out together, aren't we? I just uh, went to my uh, great uncle's house and uh, to help him with his computer and he gave me some stuff here. That's not him, by the way, so don't go looking that up. Anyway, um, <laughs> some pretty cool stuff in here. I do know for a fact that there is a Commodore 64 and a Spectrum 4. But what else is in there, I don't know. So I'm going to turn my living room light on here. There we go. There's some nice lighting. We're going to unpack these boxes. I just got back from the Hyundai dealer for an oil change, and I grabbed one of these brochures. This is a cool car. The Koreans are really kicking the Europeans' asses on that one. That for another day. Here we go. In the first box we have some software. We had a power outage last night, so it's burning midnight oil. Let's see what we got here. Number L couplets. Chores 11 Heidi. Oh no way. These are my cousins. Oh my god. You know how old this stuff must be? Resume. So my cousins must have used this for school. He never said that. Commodore demo disc. Okimate printer driver. LaserJet 2 driver. Super key and sidekick. Look at this stuff. This is cool. Moon Patrol, Lazy Jones, Chuck Willie, Pac-Man, Centipede, Art John, Lord by So this is all Commodore stuff. Okay, I'm getting excited. We have a Commodore Plus 4 software manual and owner's manual. An Okimate printer handbook. Commodore disk drive. Another Commodore drive manual. And here we have ooh, the Commodore Plus 4. I don't know much about the Commodore Plus 4. I've never actually seen one in person. But this is getting exciting here. We have another disc binder or box. Recipes. I'm going to see there. Okay. We have a joystick that was chewed up by a dog. This is actually an Atari joystick. I'm fairly certain. Wouldn't that be awesome if there was an Atari in here too? There's another Atari joystick. We have some more discs. An Oki Mate brand new printer cartridge. A Commodore power supply. <clears throat> We have, what the hell is this? Uh, it's, I believe, a floppy drive cable for the Commodore. We have schoolwork, probably from my cousin. Grade 9. Oh, what the hell. Will you be trained for jobs of the 90s? Oh dear. Look at this. There's no date on it. Let's see if I can figure out. Adult. Oh, here we go. 1991. Shawsheen Valley Technical High School, Billerica, Mass. Adult Evening Education. Oh my god. In 1991. What I want to do is figure out who this was for. Look at this. <laughs> Academic offerings. 1991-92. Look at this. Oh, this is so cool. I'm wondering if this is for... Um... Now, back then, my, my great-uncle and great-aunt were approximately 50 years old. No, 45-ish, actually. 
Here's a layout for the high school visiting guide. Now, I'm trying to figure out which cousin would have been in high, ninth grade in 1991, and I'm going to say that it would be my, my cousin Heidi. So, or this is some kind of a parents' night thing. Uh, it's hard to say. But there's a layout of the, uh, of the high school from 1991. Classroom of the future. a program of studies, I believe, or program guide. Oh my god, this is so cool. Look at this. This stuff has been in that box for 20 years. Jesus. So yeah, this is definitely from my cousin Heidi. I thought she was a lot younger than that, though. In 1990, I was... I was eight years old. Yeah, I guess that makes sense, doesn't it? All right, here we have paper, schedule. Oh my god. They had a pig? <laughs> oh wow, here's the cover. Here are some audio cables and another interface cable. Here we have the Commodore floppy disk drive, 15412. Nice. Another brand new Oki Data cartridge, Commodore 64 owner's manual. And a Commodore 64 user's manual. Set that aside. Commodore 64 power supply. Pack of paper. Nice. like a tutorial for a Commodore 64 on paper. More fan fold paper. And to the second box we have Oh my lord. Cutthroats for the Commodore 64. Child World, 2697. Unfortunately, I don't see a printer in here. But I just found some software. It's pretty damp, so I doubt it's any good. Just more of the Commodore stuff. Okay. We'll go through that later. What else is in this bag? We have... Jack Attack for Commodore 64 on cartridge. We have two Commodore joysticks. Yeah, this smells kind of uh, musty, unfortunately. So I, uh, I'm cautiously optimistic. A Commodore cassette deck for the retrieval and storage of data. Holy crap. These are so rare. Or they're getting to be. Here we have Fantasy. Fantasy. Oh, Fantasy. Yeah, okay. For Commodore. We have a couple of Commodore bricks. One, two, three. And what is in this bag? Oh, just an interface cable. Oh my lord. It's an original Demoulis bag. Look at that. <laughs> this bag has got to be 25 years old. I remember when they looked like that. Demoulis is now known as Market Basket. Holy crap. Oh boy. 
we have not one but two Commodore 1541 disk drives. Commodore 64. Original Commodore 64. Missing a key with what looks like... Are you kidding me? They replaced the key with a bolt. Nice. Another Commodore 64. Shit. I'll set that one aside. And another... 1541. Just drive. So, that's not all. But that's quite a lot. In the second corner, we have dun, 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 an XT. This is a laser. Uh, IBM XT clone. And we have the specifications handily printed on this label. PC XT compatible 640K RAM 40 meg hard drive. 5 and a quarter inch 360 color graphics adapter. 10 megahertz processor. MS-DOS and MS-DOS shell, so that's probably MS-DOS 4 or 5. Serial parallel game ports and a one-year warranty that is definitely expired. Also has a key lock and a switchable high speed to low speed mode. Nice. And we have, of course, the obligatory 14 inch or 13 inch, 12 inch maybe, Magnavox Color CGA monitor. Hey, what am I going to do with all this stuff? Unfortunately, we don't have the printer, but that's okay. I got all this for free. Well, it wasn't really free. I I did quite a bit of work for them on their computer. So something tells me that there's a Vic 20 missing. Uh, and I'll tell you why. Because this floppy air disk drive is produced in VIC-20 white. So I'm thinking there may be a VIC-20 that was once in this mix. And uh, this is definitely a newer Commodore floppy drive. This is not the original release, which was the larger size. This would have shipped with a, um, a Commodore 128 or possibly the Spectra 4, Spectrum 4, or whatever the hell that thing's called. But look at all this stuff. Now we have, oh, here we go. Uh, this is a realistic cover for a printer. Yeah, this is a printer cover. That was a Radio Shack product. Um, so, I have a lot of work to do. I've got to hook one of these up to my TV. And I think I can do it with a composite video cable. I'm hoping I don't need any adapters. Yeah, I think I do. I'm going to need a composite, or I'm sorry, a Commodore video cable. Uh, do I have one? I don't think I do. Gotta be one in here somewhere. Let's see what we have here. Yeah, those are just joysticks. And, uh... Oh, dear. Oops. I don't have a video cable. Oh yeah, this power supply. Unless this goes to the tape uh, drive, which I doubt. No, that, that's powered off the bus. So. Are you kidding me? 
There are no video cables in this, in this box. Now, this is the original 64, I believe, didn't require. Yeah, there it is. Composite video out. So, unless this monitor is. Ha! Huh. Okay. Alright, it looks like this monitor was set up to work with a Commodore. It's possible. Maybe. No. No, definitely not. But it does have the audio in jack, which would typically... I don't know. Well, stay tuned. I'll uh, try to set one of these up at some point.